Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Cosorex Advanced Nail Mucin Power Essence and your Retin Oil. Now you may think that you can use this nail essence not only as an essence step in the skin routine but as a moisturizer as well. And yes, this can work well as long as you're working with water-based products. So if you have, for example, a toner at home, your water-based serums, and then use the essence as a last step, this can work. But when using a retinol product, those usually are formulated either in an oil or maybe an emulsion. And then the texture can change from a liquid in a serum formulation or to a like gel like lotion or even cream and in that sense you cannot use the snail essence after your retinol product because then you are probably going to lose the benefits of the snail essence because it cannot properly penetrate through it so in that sense it's best to use the snail essence before applying your retinol product so that you can fully absorb into the skin that you get the benefits and the hydration that the snail essence is going to provide you and then you're using your retinol product afterwards and then this would be the setup of an evening skincare routine that you can follow. And so I have the same exact routine right here in front of me based on the order of application. And I want to show you a little demonstration so that you can see not only how you're going to incorporate it in your evening skincare routine, but that you can see how much you're going to use of it as well. So we are going to get started with the first step, which is washing your face. Now keep in mind, we're working with a retinol product. You want to make sure that you're using non-exfoliating acid cleansers and use a cleanser that's suitable for your skin type. So I have two great examples right here from CeraVe or Cetaphil. Of course, if you have a different cleanser that works well for you, go ahead and exchange it and read on the back of the packaging on how you should use your cleanser. And since it is an evening skin routine, you may want to do a double cleanse using an oil or balm cleanser and then head into your regular cleanser. If you want to see such a specific guide, I have it for you in the top right corner. As for this video, I'm just going to follow with a regular cleanser. Now you can go ahead, wash your face in the shower while showering. This is extremely convenient or do it above the sink, whatever works the best for you. Just make sure that you're going to get started with clean hands. If they aren't clean, wash them at first and then get started with washing your face. So as an example, I'm going to use the Defense Daily Facial Cleanser, which is great for combination to oily skin. Here it mentions that I need to apply to wet skin. So when working with water, my suggestion would be use lukewarm water to slightly warm water so that it feels comfortable on the skin and that you can properly remove it from the skin. So let's go ahead and get started. So use a bit of your cleanser on the palm of your hand about a coin size amount more or less rub your hands together and then gently massage it all over your face and neck for about 30 seconds to a minute making sure to not get it into your eyes nor into your mouth So once you have massaged it all over, you are now going to rinse it off again with water. Now when doing this above the sink, I like to splash at first some water onto the skin to get most of it off. And then my suggestion, as I always recommend in my videos, would be working with a microfiber washcloth, a makeup washcloth, which can help you to properly remove the cleanser from the skin. Take your washcloth and wet it. Squeeze it out. And now use the washcloth to remove any residue that's still left on the skin, especially around the hairline. And now rinse again. So and once you have properly washed off the cleanser from the skin, now it is important that you're going to remove the excess water from the skin because this is now wet skin. You want to avoid applying the snail essence to wet skin. And so therefore take now a clean towel and gently pat all over so that you will end up with damp skin. Now 
So once you have removed the excess water from the skin, you now are ending up with damp skin because the skin was able to absorb some water while you were washing your face. And now you can head into the next step, which is going to be the application of your snail essence. Now this is where I want to keep my main focus on, the snail essence and retinol product. So therefore head into your snail essence, since it has a pump, my suggestion would be go with one to two pumps. This should be enough for your face and neck so that you can apply an even thin layer all over that should absorb quite quickly into the skin. Rub it between your fingers and then apply it evenly all over. So once you've applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now depending on how much you've used, you will already notice that it starts to absorb while blending it all over, that's a good sign, otherwise you can always give it about 30 seconds to a minute in between, wait for the snail essence to absorb and then head into the next step. Now the next step is going to keep the focus now on your retinol product, which may be a serum or again a gel or light lotion or even a cream. It doesn't matter what formulation you have at home, what's important is that you're going to use it after your snail essence. And I do have some examples right here, so in this case we're working with CeraVe or the Ordinary, and I'm going to use the Ordinary 0.5 retinol in swelling just as an example. Now if you have a different one, of course go ahead and replace it. Now when it comes to an, a retinol that's in an oil formulation or has like a slightly oily texture, you can go with about four to six drops for your face and neck. If it should have a pump, use about like one pump more or less so that you end up with about a bit more about a pea size amount so that you can apply an even thin layer all over. And the same would apply to a light lotion or cream. Do not overdo it with the amount of product that you're using, specifically if you're being new to it or you're working with a strength of retinol that you're new to it because then you also have to keep the frequency in mind by starting off by using it two to three times per week and slowly increase the frequency. You will find a guide, everything in the description box down below with my PowerPoint. So with this one I'm going to go with four drops. This is for me enough for my face and neck but of course if you feel like you want to add a few drops more to it go ahead and do so. Maximum of six otherwise it can feel a bit uncomfortable on the skin and then start blending it all over. Make sure to not use it on top of your eyelids. Please do not use it too close to the lower lash line or the corners of your eyes or maybe your mouth as well because this can be quite sensitive. And some people may even experience some sensitivity around the nose right here. If that's the case, avoid those areas. So, and once I've applied it all over, you're going to leave it on the skin, there's no need to wash it off. Now, when it comes to your evening skincare routine, you need to adjust it accordingly to your skin type and maybe how much dryness you may experience. Usually, retinol formulations in an oil or light lotion or cream-like texture, they tend to already be quite hydrating on their own, that you can use it on its own. So just wash your face, use a snail essence and then your retinol product, and then there you have it. However, if you should have a drier skin type already in the first place or you may experience really excessive dryness, you can follow with a moisturizer afterwards. Or my suggestion would be use a moisturizer when not using your retinol product. This may be even throughout the day or even on evenings when not using your retinol depending on the frequency that you're currently following. Because from my experience it works the best by just using the retinol on its own and just finish with that step without using anything else on top of it. But of course you can go ahead and adjust it and see what works best for you. Now I'm going to leave it as it is since that's my recommendation, that's what I figured out over time that works the best for me. But of course, when working with a moisturizer, use about a bean size to a pea, like a pea size to a bean size amount, which can change a bit depending on the moisturizer that you're using and the texture of it. But this could be more or less about that much for your face and neck, so that you can apply it evenly and thinly all over. Especially if you have already a bit more of an like oilier type formulation of retinol, you do not want to overdo it. Just give it an even and protective layer, and then there you have it. So this would be then one example. 
But of course, when it comes to working with a retinol, you're going to keep the focus on your evening skincare routine. But still, um, if you're waking up the next morning, you're going to follow with your usual morning skincare routine. And by the way, you can use the snail essence morning and evening daily. Then still as a last step in your morning skincare routine, don't forget to follow with your sunscreen afterwards to protect the skin, not only from the damaging UV rays, but because you're working with a retinol as well, you really want to protect it and not make situations like worse. And so in that specific sense, again, I do want to remind you that with the entire example skincare routine I shared with you just earlier, you will find that one as well as other guides when it comes to skincare tips, sunscreen information, you have a retinol explanation to it when it is needed, necessary, if you can use it uh, if you are being pregnant, etc. You have all that information in my PowerPoint, which you can find in the description box down below. And you can even download it on your device if you want to follow that guide. And so this is what I wanted to share with you. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did so, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And if you now want to learn more about skincare, you may want to see an in-depth frequency guide when being new to your rating or product. I'm going to leave such videos at the end of this video so that you can keep on watching. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Happy skincaring. Bye.